When we encounter the nativity story, it can be hard to imagine the humble beginnings of Jesus' birth. Well, here at Harmony Baptist Church in Hamilton, Ontario, they're gonna help us with that. This is an outdoor living nativity, and there are nine different scenes set up and a QR code at every scene that helps us understand what was happening when Jesus was born. There are live actors and live animals, and we want to invite you on this journey with us now as we celebrate God with us, Emmanuel. What is your favorite scene here at this outdoor living nativity? So far, the market is amazing. They've done such a fabulous job. It's really cool. My granddaughter gets a chance to be around some of these animals and that. And uh, obviously, I think this is a great time of the season to celebrate Christ's birth. By far, the nativity scene is the best for me. Would you like anything from Santa Emma? Would I like to buy something? Mm -hmm. Okay, I think I would take one carrot, please. Well, thank you, River. You're welcome. What is your favorite thing about this living nativity so far? The animals. The animals. I like the sheep. The sheep? The animals like the goat. I like the market, like all the like lights and stuff. You just exited King Herod's uh, palace. What was it like in there? Oh, it's amazing. It's definitely big and greatly decorated. Joshua, what part of the Christmas story really stands out to you? Um, well, the wise men, I guess, because they follow a, a random star. I, I mean, yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't really do that, but you know, to each their own. It's good. It takes a lot of faith, right? Yeah, it does. Harmony Baptist Church started their living nativity in 2020 as a drive through during the COVID lockdowns. That year, the church saw 200 cars come through. This is the first year the church has put on the event as a walkthrough to further engage with their community. Well, it's just an opportunity to share what we believe, basically, and uh, have people come in and show them that we're uh, a friendly group. and. Uh, that's basically it. It's just outreach. And beyond outreach, Pastor Eldon Faulkner says the living nativity has brought the church community together. The impact, actually, that this um, outdoor living nativity has had on your church community mm. is really profound. We're a small church that wants God to use us in a big way. And as a small church, sometimes you, you, you kind of feel like, do we have an impact? When people came together to do this that first year during COVID. Uh, it's like they were, they were coming out of their caves to do something together. And, and that connecting with each other, we saw relationships right from little children to our, our oldest seniors, um, just spending time together, hammering nails together, hanging tarps together, creating painting sets. It, 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 it definitely deepened relationships. And I think the unexpected blessing of all of this has been the way that our people have drawn closer to each other. Oh, it's so encouraging. Pastor Faulkner, you know, it makes me think about God with us, Emmanuel, Jesus. We're with each other. God is with us in that. And there's so much strength to be found in our unity together as believers and um, in our unity with God. And, you know, when you think about the story of Jesus' birth, you know, that is Emmanuel, God with us. Here he comes on this mission to earth to contact humankind in a whole other way. And uh, when you think about that story, I know you've been a pastor for many years, but what strikes you most about the story of Jesus' birth? I think <clears throat> the thing that strikes me most about it is that we, we often picture Christmas as this, this beautiful time, it's a romantic time, you know, it's lights and colors and, and, and presents and all, all the peace on earth. Yeah. But really, the world that God chose to be born into was not that at all. It was a, a world of chaos and confusion and noise. Uh, I mean, I think when you think back to Bethlehem on that, that first Christmas, it was anything but peaceful. Right? It wasn't a silent night. It was, 
It was a hectic, chaotic night, and people were sleeping on the streets, and there wasn't room and you know enough for everyone to sleep. And I, I think of our world right now. I think of Hamilton right now. Yeah. And and that's us. There's there's people coming to us who have no place to sleep. There's people sleeping on our streets. There's no room for them in the shelters. And you know the homeless situation that we have in the city is is just crazy right now. And to me, that's that's the world God chose to be born into. Yeah. And for him to choose to be born into that setting, in a very humble circumstance, to a peasant girl, to me, it, that makes God approachable. It means God is for yeah. everyone. Yes. There's, there's no one who's not worthy enough for a relationship with God. And I, I think that's a message our world needs to hear right now. Yeah. I know it's a message I need to hear right now, yeah. that with all the stuff we hear in the news, with all the, yeah. the fighting and chaos in our, in our world, God is, God is still here. And he's choosing to be present with us. And... He invites us into relationship with him. The peace is not external. The peace is something internal when we enter into that relationship with God. And uh, so that first Christmas changed everything. Yeah. You know? And it still is changing everything. You know, Pastor Eldon there, he, he came.